Hey everyone, Spetty Awesome here, and in spirit of the upcoming Easter holiday, I've got a bunch of surprise eggs here and a giant see-through one because I'm going to show you how to make a giant rainbow kinetic foam Easter egg. It's going to be so cool looking and I'm like super excited to do it. And of course I've got some regular eggs here with surprises in each of them. And ooh, look at this one. It's like, it's got kinetic foam in the front of it. Actually, you know what? Let's just start the video off by opening an egg right now. Like, why not? <laughs> so this is cool. Yeah, it's like, I, it's covered in foam, so I don't know what it is. <gasps> oh, it's a Shopkin! Sweet. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's open it up. All right, so, ooh, we got two blind bags here. And let's see. Oh, no way. This looks so cool. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a raisin bread or something. Wow, that's like a brand new one. We have not had that before. I got like really lucky with this one, so. I'll look up with that. Oh my gosh, no way. Another new one. This is like a hairbrush with yellow and glittery. Okay, I'm gonna look up the names of these. Okay, so I looked up. So this bread one is bread crumbs, and it's common, but this is the first time we've ever had this, a part of the bakery section. It's so cool, and I love how it's like two shades of like purple. It's so cool. And this cool little brush here is the Puppy Brush, and it's the ultra rare part of the pet shop. It's so cool! I love that I got like two totally brand new ones and an ultra rare one even. This is amazing. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but my day is starting off amazing because I got two brand new Shopkins that we don't have. So awesome. So now let's start making this giant kinetic foam egg. So you got to start with a giant egg like this. So and you can find them in the stores right now for Easter. Um, so you want to find a pretty good size one. This one's probably about a foot tall. And so let's open it up. And I picked this clear one so you can see like all the layers inside. So really basically you just take the egg and then I'm going to start at the top of the egg and I'm just gonna smush the kinetic foam into it and make sure it hits all the sides really good and molds in there. And you wanna make sure it makes like a nice flat layer, as flat as you can get it, all around the edges, like this. And I'm starting with red here on the top and we've got like two of each of the four colors we have, so I think that should be enough kinetic foam. So look, ooh, look cool. So there you can see it's starting to form. So here's our first layer. And then now I'm gonna do another color as the second layer. All right, now I'm gonna do an orange layer on top of our red layer. So I'm kind of going by the rainbow. You know, it's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Um, but just with the colors that we have here. So once again, I'm just gonna smear this around and make sure it's nice and even on top of the red. All right, so here's our rainbow Easter egg so far. We've got the red and the orange layers on top. It's gonna look so cool when it's all done. But I'm gonna take a little break here and open up another egg, because there's a lot to open. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? This is a Justice League Mashems. That's sweet, let's open it up. All right, I am excited to see which Mashem superhero I get this time. And, oh cool, I got Batman, sweet. I don't know if I've gotten this Batman in these ever before, so that is so cool. And he's like all dark blue with his little ears, you know, it's, I mean, still not as cool of a superhero as I am, but pretty close, I'd say. He's probably like the second best. So. Bleh, 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 bleh. Eee, I love squishing their heads. Yeah, this one's like super stretchy and super gooey. I love it. All right, time to do our next layer, and I'm gonna do blue for the next one since we don't have yellow or green to go in the middle, but we should totally get some. All right, so I'm just gonna smush this around, same as the orange, and then I'll show you guys when it's all finished. And voila, I've got the purple layer now. So we have all four of our colors, the red, orange, blue, and purple. And it looks so pretty on the outside. And I've got it like pretty much as even as I can get it around the edges. And now we'll start with the bottom part so we can make two halves and then we'll put them together. Um, but first I wanna open up another egg and I think I wanna open up this pretty golden egg. All right, so let's see what's in our pretty golden egg. And oh, ooh, we got splashlings. These are cool. Oh, this is the two pack one too. So we get two things and you can even get like a mermaid in these, but it feels like two small things. So let's see what we got. Oh, cute. looks like we got a little crab and ooh, that popped out. Oh, cute, a little anchor. All right, so we got this blue anchor and its name is Amy Anchor and it's in the red because it's the blue one. So it's rare, which is awesome. And as part of the Swell Shells collection, we got Claudette, and she's more common, but she's really cute. We don't have her yet. 
All right, now for the bottom half of the egg. I've got some nice new sticky connect foam here and we gotta do the colors opposite. So I'm gonna start with purple this time and work my way up to red. So once again, just smash the bottom and smash all the layers together. Now we have our two halves of our egg all layered out and I kind of pried them out a little bit. The bottom was a little more stubborn so it kind of popped out kind of like all mushy looking um, but it's pretty cool looking still and it just needs a little bit of fixing which is actually really easy with the kinetic foam. And then this top part came out actually really nicely. Look at that. That looks so awesome. Look at that. All the layers and the colors and it's like nice and smooth and beautiful. And now to put them together, <laughs> and it almost made kind of like a, it, this actually looks more like a spaceship or a planet or something with like the ring around it. That's pretty cool. So now that I've got these two halves, I can trim it down. So now what I can do to size this more correctly, I can take a smaller egg, still pretty big, and just smush it in here. And then this should fill this half up really well, like that and that will help kind of shape that part. And then, okay, so what ended up happening with the bottom part is the colors kind of just all really mushed together, so mm -hmm. I just decided to like mush it all together into like a big orb of just kinds of, it kind of looks like tie-dye, which actually looks really pretty, and it's like swirls of like all the different colors mixed with each other. And so this is the bottom of the egg. So the bottom of the egg will be like this, all tie-dye, and then the top of the egg will be like stripes so it's kind of like a two weird crazy like different dimensions of colorful egg and voila we have our giant kinetic foam egg and it's all colorful pretty and tie-dye and it's pretty solid but not too heavy but it definitely feels like there's a lot of foam in there so that's how you make a giant kinetic foam egg and you can probably I would suggest if you have only two of four colors you do more this size which is yeah about that about seven inches instead of the 12 because this one you need like probably even twice as much foam. Before. So let's put this to the side because I have one more surprise egg to open and this one has Anna and Elsa on it which looks really cool and what's inside? <gasps> oh we have a Disney soup soon! Perfect final flying bag to open. Alright let's see what soon soup character I got this time and it looks like <gasps> no way I got Sebastian! I don't think we have gotten this one in these ones yet. That is so cute. I'll look at him and he comes with like a seashell. I'll put it together. All right, so here's our little Sebastian Zoom Zoom. He is so cute, and he's got his little clam shell here that he can sit in with little seaweed, and he's all like little fad and like nub. Oh, he is just like so cute. I love this one. Well, that's it for our surprise egg fiesta here, and I got amazing blind bag toys today. I Probably some of the best I've gotten in a long time, and I had a lot of fun making this kinetic foam egg, so now I can say I made a giant egg out of kinetic foam. So if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, please click like and subscribe, and in the comments let me know what other cool things you want us um, to make out of kinetic foam. There's like a whole bunch of different things. You can make like a dragon, or cupcakes, or cookies, or presents, anything. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video.